Okay, made cafe. So who do you think we're gonna bump into? Probably Ryota, right? Oh, no, or I'm just gonna walk away. Isn't there a manga club here? I wonder if they're doing a zine or something for the festival. What's a zine? Like a magazine, but like a, a small publication, which is just like a limited edition. You just do a print with like a hundred issues or something. And then you either sell it or just circulate it within like a, a limited area or like a whatever. Oh, and, and like if someone who who was part of that once then makes it big later these can be sold for many bucks on ebay no more like sort of like you get to practice your craft and like just do, who knows uh maybe make a small profit it's basically because it's like independent you don't it's not part of any publishing or whatever all right um never heard of like fanzines and stuff like that oh okay okay uh, just you fuck off then i'm just trying to educate you here I wasn't complaining. <laughs> I think I'll go look. You think fucking Angeal hangs out in the manga club? Of course. Most likely. He has to get his vocabulary <laughs> from somewhere. What seekest thou, Edelblau? <laughs> yeah. Angeal, are you a member of the manga club then? Indeed. This is my weapon. Is it... A pen, yeah. Angeal produces a mapping pen with a dramatic flourish. Oh my god, he's an aspiring manga writer slash artist, isn't he? He writes his own fucking goddamn bullshit heroic uh, fan fiction manga. Mm. Wow. Whoa, that looks like it would hurt you if you got poked. <laughs> It'd be good slide too poke something no he doesn't have anything to poke with oh my god I'm, I'm working here but like oh pigeons you're making it hard you're not making it hard that's a problem <laughs> <laughs> it has stained many a day with the gore of a friend and foe alike <laughs> he's, uh, he's poked himself with his pen is what yes. he's saying are you sure it's just that it's not that you're just careless and end up stabbing yourself a lot <gasps> that's why he's got the red thing there yeah hmm. Aww. <laughs> my, uh, my scarlet breast stirs. No. Why now? I should leave this to you, it'll blow. I must go. Whenever we say something that embarrasses him, it's basically what it is. And yeah. then he's like, oh, there's evil afoot. <laughs> In other words, it's your turn to run the stand and you want me to do it for you. Um, Do what you must. Do what you must. Yeah. Yeah. Play along with his bullshit. Do what must be done, Crimson Angel of Judeca. I shall follow the covenant of my blood to the end. Ha ha! Right. He nimbly leaps over a stack of books and runs into the courtyard. Naruto runs into the courtyard, you meant to say. Well, it's not like I have anything better to do, so I'll take his shift for him. You okay. cocksucker. You fucking asshole. This is so weird and so different. Ah! I handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. Yes, oh, this, this has happened again. before. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in the staff room? Ah, the staff room argument again. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and Dr. Iwamin... Blobbly blue. And you side with Kazuaki. Side with Kazuaki? Yeah. yeah. Fuck you, Shu. And we did that before as well, right? Uh. Yeah. So we, we've already heard about this. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Lunch was good today. You can always rely on school food. You know what? I'm not even going to shit on school food. I know so many people have had bad experiences with school food and you have all of the goddamn memes and the jokes and all of the shit about like how garbage school food is. But when I grew up, I always had good food in my schools. Yay, schools. Do you know what my school food was? No. We didn't have school food. <laughs> like... That's not how it works. Your like, mom packs you a sandwich. That's your lunch. What? Yeah. I ate no. a sandwich for lunch for my entire childhood. Until Are you I kidding was, me? Yeah. That's, not, that's what everyone did. 
And like sandwich, some juice maybe, an apple, but you brought it from home. Did you at least have a school cafeteria? Well, a very small place. It didn't actually have seats, but it had like a little stand where you could get like donuts. <laughs> no, but some rolls. And and just bread. A, yeah. All right, so you didn't the have like and stuff like that. So you didn't have like the big lunch hall no. where you could like choose between three different courses every day. No, we didn't have that. I had that at work, obviously, but uh. not school. Yeah, oh, I had that because I grew up in a rich country, not like a poor shithole like Austria. <laughs> right? No, it's just a cultural difference, isn't it? Also, that like for example, in in one of your neighboring countries, is it Norway, we're eating like bread for lunch is also very usual. Sad. Sad. Well, it's just how it is. It's like, and it's not just school kids, obviously. It's just like, it's generally, culturally, in Germany and Austria, eating just bread for lunch isn't unusual. No, I had, I, I like always had like two or three different courses to choose from. So like a salad buffet. Sometimes you could get like desserts and stuff. And like, ooh, today it's like pancakes with whipped cream and jam. And today it's hamburgers. No? No? Sandwiches. Man. No, you know what? You can always, always, without exception, rely on school food. Mm. Isn't that... Angil? Shh. I'm pooping. Gotta be real quiet or I can't get it to come out. No, oh, I think he's done already. It's pretty quick about this. Mm. I mean, they do it mid-flight, just like... <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then like it that. just lands on your on your shoulder as you're just, you know, innocently walking through the French city of Chambéry and you're on your vacation and you don't really have, like, access to a washing machine. I'm totally making this up. This never happened to me specifically I when I was 14. To, I was walking to work. <laughs> I was wearing a suit and then all of a sudden it's just and I just right on my goddamn shoulder. You know, this is mildly related, but mostly unrelated. What happened to me one time when working, walking to work, I'm walking to work and I'm walking like on the sidewalk and someone five stories above me is watering their plants. <laughs> And I just get doused in like plant water that comes mm. that like overflowed, and there was some mud in there too because like it overflowed. Uh. And I was standing there, and I just left the house, and I was like, <laughs> and it, it hit my hair, and I had like pieces of like oh, man. Uh, soil in my hair, and I was like, guess I'm turning around and taking another shower. God, like. Mm. But yeah, I was not happy. Had that happened in Sweden, you would have written an angry note and put it in a public space where eventually they're going to walk past and read it. And that'll show them. <laughs> See, and I just yelled out, Alta, pass off. And I went back and no, I No, you can't yell. That's not how you do it here. You write the angry, passive-aggressive note and you put it somewhere where you think that they are probably going to read it. Yes, well, I yell. And you end the note with an angry smiley face. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like, dude, watch out, or watch what you're doing. And I went back, and then I... Aww. And Jill beckoned to me, completely visible despite his obvious attempts to conceal himself. <laughs> Do you not sense the quickening, it'll blow? The quickening of what? Quickening of this LP? Never. <laughs> no, I feel like it's getting slower. <laughs> The demon spores swarm with alarming intensity. They come from there. He's looking at... Still going on about the infirmary, huh? I have told you this is merely a facade, idle blow. I mean, he's not wrong. The tree of blight, Rufa. Yes, it is the incubator of absolute darkness. You know what else is, is, is happening? Mm -mm. There are fewer and fewer words in his sentences that aren't capitalized. <laughs> that makes even less sense. Why is a fallen angel stressing over an infirmary anyway? The entire school will be swallowed by the demon spores if we do not act. 
Were that to happen, my crimson breast would run wild once more. I might even... You... Oh my. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but it seems like he's planning to hurt me. Because, <laughs> hmm. yeah, school... school he's warning about the impending school shooting. He's literally saying, like, you're cool, don't come to school tomorrow. <laughs> Right? That's the speech. <laughs> mm. Scum. Vagabond. Little do you know that the Bergqvist family tradition is to kill first and ask questions <laughs> later. <laughs> um, that was just a thought. He wasn't I know, it out I loud. know. But the root of all evil, the dark sorcerer, is not here at present. I must plan my attack. Rest easy until then, Edelblau. I swear, if this is if this leads up to a school shooting scenario, <laughs> you know what I just realized? No. Because you Edelblau. Yeah. Right. You know what Edelfrau means? No. It's a noble lady. Oh. Do you think? Because technically the character is female, maybe there is something in there about that. I don't think they're knowledgeable just... enough about the intricacies of the German language. No, to I write think they it. messed it up. Maybe. No. No, because he's described as like the crimson angel, so they're working with colors here. It's yeah, the but maybe they, they misunderstood the word. I don't know. Hmm. It looks like a normal infirmary to me. Is something really going to happen? Da da da. <gasps> we got our finals back. I'm smart. I ranked top of the year this time. Have you ever been top of the year? Have you ever done math? I think we have. No, not in the game. No, wait. Yes, I, I think. I think we have. Who needed yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I remember this. We beat we beat Sakuya by two points. Yeah, Yuya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yippee! My hard work paid off. Mm-hmm. All right, more of this LARPing bullshit. It's Christmas Eve. But my family's Buddhist, so we never do anything special. Um. I have a doorbell. You have a doorbell? I have in a your doorbell cave? in my cave. Well, maybe you just have a bell and like a rock next to it, and someone just has to go and like. No, I, the... I, I. Or like I, you have a trash can lid that's lying on the ground, and if someone there is, they have to pick up the trash can lid and pick up a stick nearby and just go like bang, 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 bang on that it. Is, uh, that is a possibility, but I choose to believe that my cave actually has a doorbell because that's more fun. Your cave doesn't even have a door, but sure. I mean, it also has like a lifetime supply of udon. We don't know how these things work. <laughs> <gasps> Some bird is here. Coming! <gasps> There's no one here. I could have sworn I heard the doorbell. See? There is a doorbell. Yes, but you could call the trash can lid I doorbell. I guess you could. Maybe it was a prank. There's a little bag at my feet with a note. To Idelblau, a parcel of the heavens. Must be from Angil. Inside, a crucifix. <laughs> oh, and a letter. Let's see. Yeah, you're cool. Don't come to school tomorrow. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, judgment draws near. Let us meet at the promised place. The Crimson Angel of Judeca. Maybe he's saying you're cool. Come to school armed tomorrow. If you're going to ask me out, can't you at least say when and where? Mm. <gasps> the sun, its majestic brilliance, sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. Hey, this is only the second time that has happened to us. It is the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. <laughs> I will go and visit the shrine, where previously we met uh, Ryota. There are a lot of birds here already. Must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Yes. Hello, Ryota. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Happy, yeah, happy, happy New, New Year. Year. What are you doing here? This is your job. Working here. Buy an amulet. Which amulet would I like? Fulfillment in conquest. Oh, boy. We're going to shoot up the school, aren't we? Jesus oh, Christ. God. I feel like that's what it's leading up to. Oh, my God. <laughs> I brought you your sword of divine just judgment. It's like, this is a rifle. <laughs> oh, this is an what assault rifle. What, what the hell? 
Yeah. Whew. Yeah. No lunch together. Bye. And Mr. Nanaki, he was here before as well. Yep. Uh huh. Oh, I got a new, I got a new it's blessing, a, a fortune. Blessing. Okay. All okay, right. that's cool. That's cool. That's new. Uh huh. This will be a good year for me. It won't be a good year for you. I'll tell you that much. Mm. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Over by the office, isn't that? Ugh. The emotion stirring in this crimson breast. Has the time of judgment come already, oh lord? What oh. the fuck? Uh, I'm... Calm your tits. Oh, oh, that's real. I'm sorry, I didn't even realize <laughs> I was a switching character. I understand that you're upset, but you're holding up the line? Mm. Angil appears to be having some sort of breakdown at the amulet stall. Oh, Shell! Good timing! Angel couldn't decide which to get, and now he's hysterical. I'm gonna get my pay docked for selling slowly. Aww. I need to get him out of the line, but... Oh dear. Looks like I get to be Angel's babysitter. Who could have known? What's wrong, Angel? Hmm. Do you know of the infinite possibilities of this universe, Edelblau? Infinite possibilities? The present is a single point in the, pa in the vast cosmic soup of time. Do I place myself under the protection of the wise kingfisher, or the guiding pearl, or... I must decide which one will most likely aid me in the... How about traffic safety? <laughs> You strike me as the type to fly out into the road and get hit by a car, Angel. Traffic safety is good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ryota, can you give us a traffic safety charm? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Here you are. Thanks, Shield. <laughs> and so I paid for the amulet and dragged Angel out of the choked up line. You're the man, Shell. Uh, you lifted the mighty burden of decision from my shoulders, Edelblau. <laughs> yep, don't worry about it. Like this, this chapter is not played out the way I thought it no. would. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like just anime edge lord, but instead it's just like the creepy kid who's probably gonna shoot up the school. This is really weird. Here's your amulet. Don't lose it. I thank you. Guide me well, O oh wondrous pearl. <laughs> and so Angil took off into the trees, clutching his traffic safety amulet. <laughs> I wonder if he'll remember to look both ways. <laughs> God damn <that. laughs> Okay. Ugh.